what's the latest fist, fitness issues, if you have any? No, just still Aaron Wildig and um, Oz are not, not available. They're, they're the only two, so everybody else is um, is fully fit. Aaron, is he taking a while, I mean, longer than you expected? or? Yeah, well, we're hoping he returns to training in the next week. So um, then he'll start being available the following week. So he, he's back out running. Um, it's just a case of that we have to we have to then get him some game time as we see fit really in training. So get the minutes under his belt to get to get him back to, to the levels we need him to be. Hmm. Um, I mean, Tefask on Tuesday, Tefask on Saturday. Yeah, it is, and it was. We've defended really well first half in what we what we set out to do um, because they're a really strong, direct team and I tried to replicate a team that could could deal with that. Um, and we did for 45 minutes and then three minutes in the second half, we don't deal with, with, with four first contacts and the ball ends up in the back of our net from, from 20 yards, which is really disappointing. Um, and then the game becomes a little bit scrappy. All right, we have a lot of possession of the ball, but... We didn't really do anything with it to penetrate enough. We, we had some some play with the ball in the middle third, but really didn't create enough chances. We only had seven shots at goal, which which is something that 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 we have to get better at off the back of that one game. So appreciate Grimsby wasn't wasn't to levels either, but we got a chance to put it right on Saturday, which we will, and I'm I'm confident that we can with what we're trying to do. Do you have a problem as a team with big physical opposition, and is that anything? If you do, is it anything to do with the makeup of your team? No, I think it's because I think I had an interview after the game on Tuesday um, from Talksport, and they spoke about the mar the margins are smaller this year. So we we look at we don't particularly defend one key moment well in forty eight minutes, and I get they have chances after that on on Tuesday. Don't get me wrong, but the game's opened up a little bit, so I'm not I'm not naive to that. But we have to just, it's the full concentration, the total period of time. So that's our biggest challenge at the minute is, is to keep our concentration levels as high as possible uh, when, when we haven't got the ball. Is that to do with inexperience at this level maybe or, or, or what? No, it's, 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 for me, it's still the teams coming together. And I know that's easy for me to say and, and, and ultimately I'll get critics for it. And, and I get that because it's my, it's my responsibility as manager. But it's 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 just the stage that we're at at the minute. It, it's you look at other teams in previous seasons um, and how they started and, and come well. So we'll, we'll come well from it. I, I I know that for sure because of the work that we put in and the, the attitude and focus of the lads. Yeah, because fans will look at tables, or they even after eight nine games or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can and you can look at it in two ways. You can look at this in two ways, and you can dress stats up wherever you like. We've got seven points from 24, or you can look at it, we've won four of the last six. So it's it depends how you want to look at it in some ways in that. So fans will look at tables, but we also need to be mindful of, of, of we've got to start, especially after the last two games, getting that performance is right. Hmm. And at home, it's particularly important, isn't it? Because that's where the vast majority of your fans will see you. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we got to do. We've got to put a great performance on tomorrow and we will and we have to. So I, I know for a fact, and it goes back to when I first started, is that we get the performance right, we will get the results. Mm. Um, Barrow had a thumping and then responded by thumping someone themselves. Is that rather sum up League Two and what are you expecting from them? Yes, <laughs> League Two is a roller coaster. It it's, is what it is in... in, in in the sense of the results, how they come and how they go. And it's the same with us with being Harrogate 4 0 and then losing to Grimsby. So, in, in the league, if you like. So, what I'm expecting from them a strong transition team, um, really good counter attacking threat, um, but also have the ability to play when they want to. But we have got to focus on us. We've got to focus on what, what we do and what we can do well. So if they're a strong counter-attacking team, are you expecting to see plenty of the ball? I, I hope I hope we can take the ball and I hope that we can show our bravery to play. But they've got the ability to do that as well. And that's the thing is sometimes, and it's where League Two is at as well, is that sometimes you expect a certain team to do a certain thing and then they can change it and tweak. Um, 
And for me, yeah, I hope we can take the ball and play our game and impose our game on them. But then also we've got to be able to defend well while we attack. So that's going to be really important for us. And after a defeat like the or two defeats on the bounce, are you looking at changes or? I, th I think I think that in my mind when, when we play games is that certain games that we have will dictate certain teams. Um, will there be changes? Likely. Because um, I want to try and get, get an attacking team on the pitch to be able to go and demonstrate what we can do. Yeah. Um, we're going to be speaking to Cameron Norman afterwards. Um, what does he bring to you? He's more than just a defender, isn't he? Yeah, it's, it's like, like all the players they've got. We've got quite a, I think we've got a quite well-rounded squad. Um, certain players offer different things. Um, Cameron can offer an, an aerial outlet. Um, but can also offer a, 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 a when he starts to look to play a little bit more that 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 benefits his game as well. So I just don't want to see Cameron being that that aerial target that we just play when we're under a little bit of pressure. He's also got the ability to to take the ball and play, which which he'll start to demonstrate a little bit more now, I'm sure. But he's a, like all of them. He's a, he's a, he's a great lad, and 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 they all work their socks off. And just finally, after an end with this, but your message to the fans tomorrow. Just, just keep doing what you're doing and supporting us. Nothing changes with what, what we're trying to do. Um, we want to be a team that everybody's proud of um, and works really hard to achieve what we're trying to achieve here. And it's a kind of just stick with it because it's it's not a case of that. We just want to get we just want to get a solid performance in play because we know then we'll get three points that we deserve. All the best, James. I'll see you there tomorrow. I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, good. So. See you then. Hi, James. Hi, Andrew. You okay? Yeah, not bad. Thanks. Good. Um, it's been, it must have been a, a bit of a tough week after Tuesday. It wasn't the, the best experience, I guess. Uh, what is the mood in the, in the camp? Well, anytime you lose, there's always a disappointment. Um, you know, you lose 1 0 away to Stevens, who I think will be a, a top contender in this league this year. I, th I think you look at it so far, we played, we played four of the top nine already. I think after tomorrow, we play five of the top nine. So, We've had a we've had a start where we played some really good teams, but we want to be at that top end. We want to be challenging that. We want to be we want to be in those top top ends of the table. So we've got to realise and recognise and then reflect on on what we need to do better, which is what what we have done since since Tuesday evening, as soon as that game finished. Yeah, you mentioned that the margins are, are, are tighter this this year. I mean, it was very tight in League Two last year, wasn't it? But it's going to be even closer this year. I feel it's even closer this year. Yeah. I feel what I mean by that is is not just on, on the table, but I mean in games, in, in moments of games. I think those those five miles you get punished quicker now. That's how I feel. Whether that's from whether that's from uh, better coaching, better managing, better investment, I don't know. But you just feel that the, the margins are getting greater. And you explained after the game on Tuesday that the selection was was horses for courses. You you said. Um... Side that was it tough to to drop uh, Mickey? Yeah, well, it's 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 everybody has um, opinions on things in, in what we try to do, and it's always hard trying to I call it resting players and taking players out rather than dropping. I don't like that terminology. Yeah. Don't really use that. It's more of just changing things to to and other people have an opportunity, and it's not just single one player out. Um, I, I won't do that as a, as, as a manager. But I guess I mean he has been your captain, hasn't he, the last few weeks? And and, and Matty is your captain as well, and he hasn't started every game. I guess it shows that nobody is an automatic selection. Yeah, I suppose that's a better way of putting it, Andrew, <laughs> than what I just did. So yeah, I think everybody's everybody knows that there, there, there's pressure on pressure on team selection for me, not necessarily for them. It's it's, it's the team that I've got to pick that feels right, right to win that game. And. Um... The two young lone, lone boys, Nevers and uh, Mariah Welsh, came on and uh, did, did make a, an impact late on, didn't they? Can we, w are we likely to see them more tomorrow? I can't give you away my team, Andrew, can I? If I say yes or no, then it's obvious, but they, they, they offer us something, they offer us that energy and enthusiasm, that youthfulness, which, which every team loves to have. And um, well, I think we've got that in abundance with everybody. Yeah. And you um, added to the squad yesterday as well, um, Josh Edwards. Is he um, more one for the future than, than one who's going to make an immediate impact? 
Yeah, J J Josh is Josh has joined our development squad. Something that 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 we want to try to keep developing and improving here at the football club. So we've added we've added a player that that can give us that um, over a period of time. Um, he signed on on a two year development contract, if you like, uh, with us. So he, he's he's definitely one for the future that we hope we can develop and um, invest in. It's something that we feel quite strongly about here that we want to try and keep developing our infrastructure and our academy and our, and our development squad to then ultimately feed into the first team. Yeah. Are you still looking at other free agents or are you, are you happy with what you've, you've got now? I'm, 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 I'm happy with what I've got. I think that's happened, but you never know what comes up. It's football and something could land up on your lap that, that you never really might be there. So we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just play it by ear with that. Yeah. Great. I should do. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.